Okay guys, let's go ahead and start a simulation here. I'm gonna go ahead and click on simulate or you can hit A on your keyboard. And let's see what exactly we have, just to make sure everything is just going as smooth as possible. Uh, first, of all, first of all, you need to select your uh, polymain or your logo here. Under a volume, you have this volume mode, make sure it's on solid inside, otherwise we're gonna have some problem so make sure it is on solid inside by default uh, it's on default on solid inside in 2014 real flow 2014 i think in uh, in the earlier version it wasn't by default on this one i'm not sure but make sure it's on solid inside okay so let's uh, go ahead and select this i'm going to go ahead and hide it so we just see the simulation and the uh, particles and uh, the next thing i'm going to do is to go to my simulation options by default in 1 300 which will take forever I'm going to change this to about 1 maybe uh, 50 for starters hit OK and uh, I'm gonna hit Control A to go to frame 0 enter and hit A select both of these and hit A and we're gonna see how the simulation will go okay guys I simulated about 500 uh, frames here I'm going to stop the simulation and get back to uh, frame 1. I'm clicking, I'm hitting down a row on my keyboard and then hit uh, back, hit space there. So there is our simulation. Okay. So that's what we have here. I'm going to start and get back. Okay, very nice. I think it's a uh, very nice speed. But about here, you can see. I really don't want to wait a lot to just make sure it fills up. Look at this. Goes up, goes up, goes up. Again, let's take a look. I'm going to just double click on this messages panel here so we have a bit more space. Get back to frame zero, hit space. And that's what we have here. I think the simulation is nice, the speed is quite nice. The only problem uh, I think that we seriously need another emitter about um, I guess in this part we can have an emitter so if you take a look at the logo uh, you can see we still have these parts and I really don't want to wait a lot to see this part slowly gets filled up I really want to have a bit uh, sort of a force that makes this part to uh, make this part fills just a bit quickly uh, than what we have right now. So I think if we can put an emitter about here with a bit more uh, speed and in, uh, and density, we will be able to fill these parts up uh, much more quicker. So uh, I'm going to uh, hide this logo so uh, we have a better situation here. So maybe about here, I just want to have these guys filling up about here, about frame. Let's see maybe about here, about frame 355 or about here. Okay, I think about here, 393. I wanna have another emitter in this uh, part here. So I'm gonna go to one of the side views, select one of the emitters. I'm going to control D and here is the emitter. I'm going to put it down there, about maybe here. Actually, it would help if we have the logo. And this is the emitter that we have right now. I hope you see this little uh, green line here. So select the rotate tool and let's rotate it uh, 180 degrees, something like that. Okay. And I want to make sure that it is actually inside the... That's our third emitter. Let's see. Okay, let's go hit 4 to get back to our perspective view. And this is our emitter. I think it is in a good place. And we can see how exactly it's going to work for us. I'm going to select this uh, third emitter about frame 393. Go to square. We don't want this emitter to do anything uh, before frame 393. So I'm going to uh, go to its speed and put it to zero here and right click on it and go to add key. And then I'm going to frame 394, one frame. 
and uh, change this to something like 6 and I'm also going to my particles and change its density to something like uh, 2500 so it is a bit more dense and because as you can see uh, the source of the emission is still inside these particles and if we put the density a bit higher than the density of these two systems that uh, basically make the main particles uh, this way the third emitter will be able to uh, move around the particles and be able to fill this part okay so I'm gonna hit for to get back to my perspective view and hide the uh, main logo again and here is what we have and if we take a look at the right click on this speed and go to open curve you can see uh, let's see let's see if we select this guys basically I don't think we have let's see frame uh, 393 let's go to that frame here 393 it's 0 394 it should be something like 6 right click and another key and here is the um, okay 393 and sorry I made a mistake here so let's go to frame let me just go ahead quickly select both of these select the second I'm gonna change the frame to 394 and there we go this is the two guys that we have here at frame 393 we have uh, the speed of 0 at frame 394 we have um, uh, a speed of 6 here so this way I think it will really help a lot to make the simulation a bit quicker so I'm gonna get back to my uh, final cached frame here which is frame 525 and the next thing I'm going to do okay so uh, we said about frame 393 so let's get back to here I'm gonna get back to frame 385 and now that we have this third uh, uh, square now uh, I can start a simulation but the very important thing that I want to uh, have this emitter I don't wanna uh, be affected by the gravity okay so this way we will be able to actually uh, have a sort of uh, this way it wouldn't get affected by the gravity and it will be able to fill these parts uh, a bit easier so that's why we are gonna need to uh, actually go ahead and open up the uh, that guy at the uh, what they call it relationship editor let's go ahead and open it up I'm going to my relationship editor now we have this uh, hub at the moment and as you can see uh, all everything is affected by everything but the gravity we need to affect the first and the second square emitter not the third one so I'm going to uh, select this uh, connection and hit delete and put this gravity back here and uh, this way I'm going to uh, try to connect this one to square 2 and square 1 but not the first square emitter so uh, now the third square emitter wouldn't get won't get affected by the gravity so this is gonna be quite alright let's go ahead and close our relationship editor and start the simulation from frame 385 okay folks the simulation is almost done and uh, I think we are good to go I'm gonna stop the simulation at about frame uh, 733 and select this third emitter and change its color so we can distinguish it easily from the other emitters let's go to maybe something like um, I don't know this yellow or what now let's go to this blue and also the mid-range too okay now we have these three particle uh, emitter that basically create the whole simulation for us uh, let's go ahead get back to frame zero I'm gonna hit down a row Hit space let's just get back a bit here and actually let me to save the scene before uh, doing anything here moment it's 0202 I think let's go ahead and um, 0203 save that 
and let's go ahead and get started by playing back the simulation. There you go. That's our simulation. Cool stuff. And then this part comes in. Oh god, that's that's cool. Okay, very nice. We have some nice simulation. Very cool. Extremely cool. So I'm gonna get back again to see what we really need to change if there is anything to change because simulation I think is quite great. And um, yeah, look at this. I mean, wow. I mean, this is nice. In the original video, actually, I didn't uh, use this third emitter. I used some other forces to make it, but I think this one is much more nicer and uh, gives us a really nice simulation and really nice uh, addition to the whole scene and to the whole motion because we're designing motion here and uh, the nicer the motions are uh, the more effective the final render would be so this is this part of this tutorial and I think we are really ready to go ahead and uh, see what type of uh, files we need to export and uh, basically we can start our final simulation in the next lesson so see you there